in and said, I feel as it is, as, that it is my duty as a believer to speak up when I see a wrong. My wife disagrees and says, I make enemies. But I believe we're in the state uh, in our world today because too many believers have not spoken up against sin. What do you say, Pastor Tim? Well, I, I think there's, uh, that's pretty much a loaded question because uh, I experience that in, in our church and in other, uh, even here at CTV, where people felt that they were God's prophet and needed to speak into into someone's life, and and I, I understand there is a need in kind of our mamby pamby wishy washy theology, and in, in in some places that where we just love 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 grace 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 let's let's all let it go, and and those things are important, but I think nationally as a church we represent you know uh, the Holy Spirit on the earth, and and we need to speak against things from a national standpoint when they're when like they're wrong against the, like, well, it. Like abortion would okay. be a w- would be a key one that I think everybody uh, most people would agree on. Uh, but when it comes to individuals, I think it's a matter of the heart, the way that we do it. We can't ignore. Uh, somebody's scripture, as somebody coming being in a sin. Jude tw- June 23 tells us that we're supposed to, we snatch a person out of the fire. Uh, James chapter 5 tells us that we, you know, we end up uh, uh, saving them from death if, if we do. But, but we need to come to people uh, with love. I mean, the key is we come to them with love. We see an area of sin in their life. We pray for them first because it could be, you know, we're seeing through our glasses wrong about the situation and we pray for them first and we allow the Holy Spirit to show us, is this something I really need to deal with? Some of those snap and, judgments right, don't go so and, good. Right, and then, and then if it is, then I go to the person, you know, scripture outlines in, in, in Matthew chapter 18, how to deal with it. You go to a person first as an individual in love, in faith, believing them for restoration. God is always about restoration and you go to the person and then, you know, that doesn't, we've got a whole lineup, which I'll let the other guys talk about. We've got a whole lineup of things to do. So I I think we have that right. Lay the foundation for us, Pastor Glaze. Well, I, I, I think the other thing too, you have to make sure of, uh, and know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I've seen so many times when people have addressed another person and they didn't know what they were right. talking about, you know, and it, it was wrong. So I, I think that you have to have facts when you begin. Now, again, you know, uh, as, as we look at things, you know, you kind of spoke on a national level. Right. And so there's the national level, but there's also, in, right, the personal level. And I think at that point, you know, we need to know that we know that we know what we're talking about. Right. Yeah, it's so easy to take the first thing we hear and just run well, with that. That's why we rather, pray about it first. That's the, yeah. the key for me is, is praying about it first because you can see something and, and it can be coming from a wrong perspective. You don't know the whole story. Right. You don't know what's going on. Pastor Jay. Yeah, kind of funny. Some lady said something one time. He says, you know enough to believe you're right, but not enough to realize you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, one of the things I think is important about this, my duty to speak up against sin, is um, it deals with motive and intent as well. Uh, Jesus talked about judge not, lest you also be judged. So people either are all the way judgmental or we don't mention anything at all. And I don't think it's either or. I think it's both and. Right. and I think the biggest thing that you have to ask yourself is, is it redemptive in nature? What is this man, what is he trying to do? Is it more like, you all are going to hell? I mean, just beating people right. over the head or is it redemptive? The Bible says Jesus was full of grace and truth. And if we don't have that right balance of those things, we're gonna come across either we're not gonna correct when we should, or we're gonna be judgmental. And we don't wanna be that, but we wanna be judicious when we judge. Well, I love that because uh, 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 this is a loaded question in that we tend to to think, well, can we confront without being judgmental? Can we be, like you said, judicious and fair in what we say? Uh, Just another comment, Ray? Sure, Uh, his question was, is it my duty as a believer to speak up? And my short answer is sometimes. And it really depends upon the context. And give you a couple of scripture examples. Proverbs 26, 4. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, lest you also be like him. Very next verse. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. And so there really is a wisdom issue that I think we've been talking about, that sometimes it is my duty. Uh, Leviticus 19, 17. You shall not hate your brother in your heart. You shall surely rebuke your neighbor and not bear sin because of him. So if I care about my neighbor, and I see him doing something that's destructive, that's uh, harmful, and I don't say anything, it's like letting a guy go off driving drunk. I mean, you know, he, he's, he's in a bad situation. He's going to bring judgment on himself. One final point just to make. Sometimes uh, it's not our place. Um, Paul talks to Timothy and to Titus, pastors, 
And he says to them, speak these things, exhort and rebuke with all authority. He says to Titus and to Timothy, he says, those who are sinning, rebuke in the presence of all that the rest may also fear. That was the job of the pastor. The pastor, and, and that, that plays in a lot of places, right? It's the job of the parent to rebuke the teacher. Uh, you may not be the person that's right uh, to speak up. And I think... Unfortunately, with social media, everybody yeah. thinks it's their right to just yeah. condemn That's everybody for everything. But you know what? Either you don't know enough, as you said, Tim, or it's not your place. There, there's someone yeah. else whose position it is to do that. Yeah. I think one of the things that uh, speaks to me is let it all be done in love. You know, that will uh, you know yeah. that, that we, you know, all men will know that you're my disciples if you have love one for another. So if you're going to confront, always do it in love. 